Magic the Gathering standard products have been mind-blowingly effective, incredible products, and people have pretty much loved them all. But that is about to change. Standard Magic the Gathering product releases in late 2022 and early 2023 have, well, frankly, been an absolute gem. If you would have told me last year that this year's products in Standard would have done so well, been so stable, and regular collectors, players, and enthusiasts like you and me would love them so much, I would have frankly looked you in the face and told you you were a liar. But I have been proven wrong, and I love to see it. March of the Machine has been no exception. But with Aftermath releasing in less than 10 days, I think we are in the, I guess, mood for a shakeup. I think the market is going to change, and I think the way we view this product is going to be vastly different than we have for any other standard release in recent Magic. So join me today, I want to talk about both products, and I want to talk about what this is going to do going into the crazy summer of Magic, and how this is going to affect people just looking to have fun and enjoy the game. So we have to start by talking today about the product for Aftermath that is supposed to be for everybody, and that's the epilogue booster. I think in regular standard release, it is it is the set box. The community has shown me through all the data that I track through every sold listing on TCG Player that you know regular enthusiasts love to open cards, they like opening packs, and the set box is exactly the place to do that. These epilogue boosters seem to be the replacement for the set booster box. Now, I want to give my take on the epilogue booster first. I personally am excited for this but not necessarily because of the set or the cards I can get out of the box. We don't know, if there's, this is all these takes by the way, if there's something spicy we don't know about yet that's about to be revealed, then maybe I'm wrong. But I'm excited about these because I like the shape of the box. As you can see, I like putting sealed product on my shelf. I think it looks cool, it makes me happy when I see it. I'm excited to put one of the two of these on the shelf, check out the different shape, fill some different holes in the collection, and I, I can't wait for that. But regular people looking to buy this and open the cards in a smaller set without commons are going to find themselves in a unique position. Right now on TCG Player, these boxes are selling for about $87. Now, actually, I have a way you can save more than $10 on this box. I'm going to talk about here in just a second. Like if, if you like the set or like Magic product, you're going to want to hear about that. But I think that people who go to open these box, boxes are going to be put in a weird spot. Because Standard is not the hyper-popular paper format it once was. These products are mostly made for Commander. Now, Commander has been really satisfied, and the Commander community has been vastly satisfied, with these Standard product releases that have happened in the time frame that we're talking about. Heck, look no farther than right back at March of the Machine. We have brand new Commander strategies that have dropped, and several that have been reprint reprinted and reinvigorated through the Multiverse level. Legends system. Well, Aftermath is coming in such a tight window, and right before two sets, which will probably be extremely popular for our Commander fans and enthusiasts, that I think it finds itself in a weird position. Most people who wanted to build Commander decks for March of the Machine are still experiencing those decks. Commander being a high variance and singleton format means you very rarely build a deck once, play it once, and then you're done. Often you want to play that deck a couple times, really see everything that it can do. So I think it finds itself in a weird spot here. So the F plug booster I am a little worried about. Now, there's a saving grace here. It does seem that this product is lighter printed than most standard Magic the Gathering releases. My contacts in the industry are saying it has been a little more difficult to get this product. There has been some, some allocations given out to various stores, and you, you're not able to get them. But if you want this product, this is something that you want, like, like I do, whether to put on your shelf, crack the packs, whatever it might be, Minmax Games is actually having a ridiculous deal, and I have to look at my notes because I didn't believe this is true. If you go from the link in my video's description to minmaxgames.com, you'll be able to get epilogue boosters for $75, and they're giving you an even better deal on collector boosters. Now, I think collector boosters are where this product gets interesting. Collector boosters look to truly embrace the fact that this product is going to experience a much shorter print run than usual. It has been said that it, collector boxes are hard to get a hold of, and I have been told that some stores are calling distribution, calling various warehouses, and actually trying to get more and unable to do so. Because of this, it looks like Wizards of the Coast is looking to lean into, or I guess lean against and push back on the, if everything is special, nothing is special. This will be a great test to see if we, rep or if we print these full art, borderless, and special foils in this one product, but then make the product 
harder to get a hold of, will the community still covet these cards? Well, they will be rarer, they will be harder to get. Is that something we will value? And I wanna hear from you, is that something you will value? And hey, while you're here, if you like the channel, you like what we're doing, you haven't subbed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. And for this reason, I'm a little bit higher on the collector product. I think the collector product is going to be extremely exciting. I think it's going to age really well. And again, it's a very unique product. There are no commons. Everything is uncommon and above. And I'm taking another video. If I remember to link it, I'll put it here. If I don't, you guys know, sometimes I forget during editing. But I think it's interesting that you know there are no commons, but that means the uncommons are just the commons, aren't they? I, anyway, that, that, that escapes me a little bit, I will admit. I am excited for this product though. I think it's a great test. And most of all, that's what Aftermath is, right? We are testing the Magic the Gathering community. Wizards of the Coast is often looking to innovate or try out different things. And Aftermath is a great example of that. They are looking to see what we want as enthusiasts and what timeline we want it on. Now, with the Summer of Magic rapidly approaching and uh, Lord of the Rings and Commander Masters, and we see that off in the distance, regular players and enthusiasts are like, if I want this, it's going to take a large financial commitment from me. It means I'm going to have to give up something. I truly feel that it might be Aftermath. But if you're not looking to give up Aftermath collectors, and I couldn't believe this either, MinMax Games will sell them to you from this video, from the link down in the description, at $165. For collector boosters it's they're absolutely wild they want to get these things out to the community they like spreading the game they like spreading product like this amongst anybody who is interested and willing and they love supporting the channel so big shout out to them and big shout out to any of you that want to go pick up that product but more importantly i want to know if you think aftermath is truly going to be as interesting as i do i have a lot of thoughts on both the epilogue and collector booster that we've got to talk about here i want to hear from you and most importantly if you like this video, you like the vibe around here, make sure you share it with a friend or group of friends. I think conversations like this are not only important, but I think they're a lot of fun and they build up our community as we race towards 5,500 subs. As thank you so much for hanging out. Until next time, you all know me. My name is Josh. I hope you get a chance to check out some of those sweet deals at minmaxgames.com. And other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.